parents as well as school officials across the country. Do your due diligence with your child. It is your choice to have a child and you cannot choose to not take care of your child. You cannot choose to not nurture your child. You cannot choose to um, take your own interest over your child, especially when it comes to mental health and um, addressing, you know, concerns, problems. I mean, everything about that was disturbing. There's a lot of stuff that could have easily um, thwarted this whole, um, this whole thing. It could have stopped and stopped very easily. What were, At school you, if, I'm sorry, no, what were you feeling as the jury was reading their verdict? I I can I don't I, I don't really have like can't pinpoint any thoughts, but definitely um, it's it's a relief to, to have it behind us and, and be able to um, shift focus to the next one. I mean, so I would definitely say that it was um, just a good load off your chest. Mr. Chilling, what, what would you like say? to be sitting through another week of testimony and the fact that you'll have to do this again back in March? Well, it's, it's okay. I, I'm fully committed to seeing it through every step of the way and every trial that comes through about this. Is that a relevant? And school officials, what, 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 is, what is your hope that this message sends to school officials um, here in Michigan and across the country? Well, on certain situations, everybody is responsible to exercise their diligence and, and uh, comb through everything. And um, I, I feel strongly that um, it's important to make sure that we're doing our jobs. And you know, I, I know that you know the as a parent, or you know, I know that there's always something in your mind that you have to do when you get out of work, and there's that you know, there's the stuff to take focus off of what your job is. But it's just so important, and you can't stress it enough that you have to take your time and, and look at every possibility and look at every angle and just explore every the situation in its entirety. And um, there's a lot of blatant facts there that you know what could have been addressed differently and it's just important to be diligent with your jobs whatever they may be and everybody mm -hmm. has their own important part of society and just um just make sure you hold on to that importance and, and know what it's for what would you say to jennifer crumley right now if you could say anything to her um i would probably say something along the lines of you wouldn't have to go through any of this if you would have just done your job as a parent. And, you know, it's, it's a, you can't foresee certain things like this and you, you don't really know, oh, I don't know. I mean, I'm not the hyper vigilant dad and, but you have to, you have to adhere to the warning signs and from your children, especially. And I mean, she said it, that he was feeling depressed and back in April. That was a long time before this happened. So he had a chance to, to do it and you didn't. And, and you know, now it's your time. Thank you. The prosecution team handshaking at yeah. his hand as that verdict was read. What was that like for you? That's something I've been wanting to do for a long time. Excuse me. I'm sorry. Um, they have all, you know, worked tireless hours um, going through evidence and um, you know bringing this to where it is and you know it's not a spectacle it's not um, it's not for like political gain or anything it's for the truth it's it's for addressing a, a, pro a problem that we have in society that nobody has been able to address yet and um, getting it there was important and I applaud her and her team for all of their efforts and um, I want to hug and every and shake hands with everybody here because of that. I, I I appreciate them and I have the utmost respect for them. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.